the gas laws, Gay-Lussac's law, pressure-temperature relationship. It was discovered by Joseph Louis Gay-Lussac in the early 1800s. Given the relationship between pressure and temperature, when volume and amount are held constant, if the temperature of a container is increased, the pressure increases. If the temperature of a container is decreased, the pressure decreases. Why? Suppose the temperature is increased. This means gas molecules will move faster and they will impact the container walls more often. This means the gas pressure inside the container will increase since the container has rigid walls. Volume stays constant. Gay-Lussac's law is a direct mathematical relationship between pressure and temperature. The mathematical form of Gay-Lussac's law is P divided by T is equal to K. This means that the pressure-temperature fraction will always be the same value if the volume and amount remain constant. Let P1 and T1 be a pressure-temperature pair of data at the start of an experiment. If the temperature is changed to a new value called T2, then the pressure will change to P2. Keep in mind that when volume is not discussed, as in this law, it is constant. That means, a container with rigid walls. As with the other laws, the exact value of K is not important in our context. It is important to know the PT data pairs obey a constant relationship, but it is not important for us what the exact value of the constant is, besides which the value of K would shift based on what pressure units ATM, MMHG or KPA you were using. We know this P1 divided by T1 is equal to K and we know this P2 divided by T2 is equal to K. We can conclude that P1 divided by T1 is equal to P2 divided by T2. This equation of P1 divided by T1 is equal to P2 divided by T2 will be very helpful in solving Gay-Lussac's law problems.